What is going on, guys? You know, Ray what 12 here. <clears throat> Welcome uh, back to another new Clash Royale. Um, just want to say I pre recorded this and I'm voiceover. I'm doing a voiceover this. So, yeah, stick with me on this. The only reason why was because I was sick. I'm still sick now. Um, sore throat, stuffy nose. Uh, yeah, everything that you could wish for. I'm joking. It's pretty bad. But, uh, guys, uh, I made up this deck, okay? Um, you know, I get to think since I'm doing a voiceover. I, I made up this deck, and it's been super... How would I explain this? Like, you can win, but you can also lose, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I, I don't know how to explain. Like, you'll see here that I get two... I, I lost twice. But then I won once. Um, I think the one time that I won was because I had the E pump, the elixir pump, which I have in my hand right now. Uh, it was basically if you don't have your E pump and you're down at zero elixir, you're basically screwed. And I messed up three times in a row. I didn't notice he had a mirror because look at his witch, level five. I don't, I didn't know he had a level five witch. And then when I saw that, I was like, oh great, I'm screwed. I didn't have a fireball in time because the E-Pump couldn't get me one in time since my internet was that bad for some reason. So I lost the crown. Uh, hold up. Okay. Anyways, coming back. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, I think we lost by one in this one. Can't remember correctly, but this deck, let me explain it to you guys. This deck is very interesting. You have to have the E-Pump down. As soon as you get into the match. Of course you want to wait until you can get your archers or your minions. Or whatever is your low cost troop or card. <laughs> because uh, if you don't have your low cost troop. Well then you're screwed. Yeah I did get three crown on this one. Now that I remember. I went full in on this one. I was like screw it dude. We're going all in. All in or all out. I wasted my fireball on the wrong thing. I should have put it on the Pekka. Um, yeah. I, I, I just. Everything just went wrong in two seconds, and I I didn't know what to do. Uh, let's see. There there are some there are some things that I did wrong here. Actually, I got one tower. He got two. I placed a P.E.K.K.A. So, see, like, just look what I can do here. Place the minions. I should have never done that. I wish I saved my archers. Uh, yeah, and that's what ended the battle right there. That's basically it. That's how the battle hall went, but How this deck is, is well, what the deck is is go wipe golem uh, wizard and Pekka um, With archers e pump fireball and ice golem the only reason why I added uh the minions, the uh, the minions, the uh, archers, and the ice golem is because they're both really low uh, cost uh, troops or cost cards. Uh, they are three, three, and two, which is super dynamic. And yeah, um, as you can see in this battle right here, I I think I lost a tower, but then I gained three back. No, I lost this one. Forget it. You can lose with the elixir pump, especially if you're. Uh, opponent rush like bum rushes you like that. It's hard. This deck is so huge. If you guys don't have any of these cards, uh, definitely do the giant Pekka with the Jai Wipe, Jai Wipe, something like that. Or if you only have the uh, Ice Golem, definitely just use the Ice Golem instead of the Golem. Put like Put like a mega minion or uh, well for the golem if you don't have a golem, the put in like a mega minion or something, or an extra tank. Uh, if you don't have the Pekka but you have the golem and the wizard, definitely just use the golem wizard, or you could do um, uh, the go wee wee which is golem witch and wizard. I haven't tested that uh card de or that deck out yet. 
I will soon. But yeah, I, I definitely will try to go wee wee, and then I will try the uh. Don't know what it's called. Uh. I have no clue what it's called. Well, no, I, I was going to say the Lava Hound deck, but I don't have a Lava Hound yet, so you're going to have to wait on that one. Basically, I'm just testing decks here. I do drop trophies a lot after this because now I'm down. You'll see that I'm down in... um. Uh, what do you call it? It's something with the ice. I can't remember. Whatever. I'll just ignore it. Uh, Yeah, but this guy beat me one crown, I think. And that's it. That's how this guy beat me. I think I should have put a second um pump down right here. If I did, I would have definitely got up uh, fast enough to uh to uh d destroy this guy. Um, I didn't have enough time. My wizard died because he did a zap. I tried getting the uh, P.E.K.K.A. there, but uh, it didn't really work. I missed my fireball. Actually, no, I didn't. I got good value against the Ice Wizard there. And as you see there, the everybody just gets taken out. Um, Everything went downhill from there. Basically, in, in about like a couple, well, three seconds, uh, you'll see that I lose. And then I get dropped into the Ice Arena. I don't even think it's the Ice Arena. Is it called the Ice Arena? It should be, because that's the only way I remember it. Right here. Yep, Frozen Peak. There we go. I get dropped in the Frozen Peak, and this is where I win one. This is my only one one. Uh, I played it pretty well, actually. Uh, he didn't have a Fireball, which was very, very uh helpful for me, because then my pump never went down. He sent in a Bowler, and I think that's what really costed him the game. Uh, what else costed him the game was that he let the chip get the he let the ice golem get chip damage or she or she remember that and that fireball what I did was place it correctly to where the musketeer would fly off to the right and have to move back into position to be able to shoot the tower because if you know certain uh certain troops in this game they have to be in a straight like the range troops they have to be in a straight area to be able to uh. To be able to, uh, uh, how would you say I call it? To be able to attack or shoot. The the long range has to shoot, at least. Uh, by the way, I lose this tower right here because he had the, uh, what do you call it? What do you guys call it? I don't know what you guys call it. By the way, I think I did four battles. Three? I don't know. I don't know, man. Just watch the video. It's been so long since I recorded this. The wizard on the left-hand side, if you guys didn't see before, if you want to go back, definitely do it. But he got some amazing chip damage on that side. Um, it helped me a lot. I fired ball that because I thought I could get the uh, the uh, bowler, but I guess I didn't. But he was one shot anyway, so I guess the, the fireball wasn't really necessary. Um, I started the golem push right here. This is where I started thinking, okay, here we go. And I, I, I moved my uh, game thing up there to, um, oh man, being sick is not the best thing to do. But uh, yeah, this is where I started to push. I, I don't know, I was thinking Ice Golem, but then Double Elixir came in. I was like, Wizard, let's go. He placed uh, 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 Graveyard. I was like, yo, screw it, Minions. He's going to fireball me. Uh, we're gonna fire. I'm gonna fireball him. We got the tower right here because then the Pekka is gonna get in there, give give the uh, bowler a couple slaps, and then boom, we got it. Uh, I don't remember if I three crowned this guy. If I did, I can't remember. Uh, when the golem popped twice, my Pekka got a hit off. I'm pretty sure. No, he she died. She died. Forget it. Uh, so I started a Pekka in the back. He started a giant in the back. Uh, as the giant was coming forward, I was like, all right, I'll place the elixir collector. He probably doesn't have anything since he placed the bowler and the giant. And I was like, all right, here we go. Here we go. What are we going to do? What are we going to do here? We don't have our golem in place. So, and then I saw the, um, the, um, musketeer on the other side. And I was like, oh no, it's over. But then I was like, okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. We can still do this. We can still do this. 
And I was like, wizard behind the P.E.K.K.A., minions behind the P.E.K.K.A. for extra damage. Of course, my minions got stuck on the giant. I wanted it. I wanted them to go after the uh, the skeletons, but it's all right because I, I, uh, I went far enough to where I can. Right here, I fired balled those guys. The P.E.K.K.A. turned around. I placed the ice golem. I placed the archers. And as soon as I did that, the art the P.E.K.K.A. was basically occupied, and he for totally forgot about the ice golem and the archers. That the archers cleaned it up, and the ice golem cleaned it up. It was just that. That's the other reason why I have the ice golem and archers and the minions in there. Minions supposed to clean up the minion horde. Not well, yeah, clean up the minion horde. The uh, uh, skeleton army. The elite barbs, the barbarians, they're supposed to be cleanup crew. They, they're the ones that clean up the crew. Um, and the archers and the ice golem is for extra trip chip damage. And the ice golem is supposed to take out the minion uh, minion hordes, um, uh, the scarmy or skeleton army for better value. And that way I can, you know, play a little bit better. And so as you guys can see here in this match, I had a horrible hand and I was like, I was crying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, as I was going through here, I saw that he had those guys, and I was like, yo, I'll fireball this, get some extra chip damage, and he laughed at me, and I was like, it's alright, dude, it's alright, you'll, you'll see what comes up next. He doesn't place anything. He literally doesn't place anything. He's stuck on 10. Um, I don't know what he was waiting for, but as soon as I placed, as soon as I saw his, uh, Lava Hound, which you will see in about, right now, 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 there you go. Lava Hound is in the top left corner of your screen right now basically i couldn't see it because of the name until it came up to the uh, tower i was like oh no there there's the mother uh lava hound i was like okay what am i gonna do here what am i gonna do let me think let me think and i was like wait i got minions i got minions and i was like okay i got the e pump down i got the pekka down i could place the minions let me place the minion here and i was like he's crying and he's sad and i go oh shit make a minion uh crap and then i go oh are you serious? And I see the barbs going at my P.E.K.K.A. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. And I was like, okay. We, we got the Mega Minion down. The P.E.K.K.A. is still up. The P.E.K.K.A. gets another shot. We get the tower. We place the wizard. The wizard will kill the minions just in time before the P.E.K.K.A. can die. And as soon as the P.E.K.K.A. gets there, she gets one shot. And after this, it was just it was just downhill from this. He decided not to do anything, which was a horrible play because the archers do so much damage that it is incredible. That I got the three crown with the archers. Not really, I got it with the fireball. But the archers did so much damage that it, it, it was it, it was well, it was just amazing. So that's how I won. Uh but yeah, I got the three crowns there. And as we're continuing continue to go, um, that is the deck right there. If you guys want to pause, take a screenshot or something, there you go.